Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. I am doing a different crushed glass and glitter painting today. And if you would like to see how I made this, then please keep watching. For today's DIY, I'm going to be using an 18 by 24 inch canvas, some wooden square dowels from my local Dollarama. My colors are Pebeo Studio Iridescent Blue Green. I have a deep turquoise just from my local dollar store. I'm gonna be using it as a base coat for my canvas. My glitters are Paradise, Silver, and I have a teal medium sized glitter. It's Creatology, I get this at Michael's. My crushed glass is the clear crushed filler glass. And I'm also going to be using some Looking Glass Silver Spray Paint, Krylon. I will leave a complete list of all of my items in my description box, and I will point them out as I'm applying them on my canvas. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use this deep turquoise acrylic from uh, my local dollar store as a base coat. I'm just gonna spritz my canvas with a little water and also my brush. Okay, my base coat is all dry and now I'm going to put on my main coat of paint which is the iridescent blue green Pebeo Studio. I found that I like putting a base coat on that is very similar to my main color and then that way I can usually get away with just one coat of the more expensive paint. That's why I'm doing that. Okay, now I'm gonna let that completely dry. Now it's time to take my dowels outside and spray paint them with my Looking Glass Silver. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I will bring you back. Okay, the paint is all dry on my canvas and my dowels. I ended up putting two coats of the spray paint on my dowels and two coats of the Pebeo Studio also on my canvas. And some of the dowels, um, some of them have the wood grain poking through, but some of it is from whatever tool they use to cut it. Okay, I'm going to be gluing my dowels together in small sections like this. I'm just gonna show you one of the sections on camera and I'll do the other ones off of camera. And I've moved my tablecloth away because I want a hard, flat surface to work with. So I just, I've got them kind of staggered like this, right? And then you see where, you see where this small dowel here is here? I'm going to just put my thumb there, pick this up, and that's where my thumb is. That's where I know that I'm going to start putting a little bit of hot glue. 
My main thing is just to kind of get them loosely stuck together from the side. Just going to push that together like that. Okay, and then you see where this is right here. I'm going to just move this over a little bit. I'm, I'm going to pick this one up. And I'm going to start the glue where my thumb is and put it on the bottom, the glue. And I'm going to put it back on my table. And I'm going to press it together. See, and it's nice and flat here, flush. And then when I go to glue this on my canvas, it's going to sit nice and flat. I'm picking the dowel up right here to here. That's where I need the glue. So I'm going to pick this dowel up. Right? And I'm going to put the glue. I don't have a very steady hand, you guys. I never have. Okay. Move that over. This. And then press together. Okay, this one I can pick up here. Along the bottom edge. And press them together. And then again, pick this up. See what I'm doing? I'm picking the dowel that has the end of it if that makes sense. And then when I press it together, there isn't going to be any glue on that dowel. It's going to all be sandwiched in between the dowels that I want it to be sandwiched in. Okay, and then here. Okay, I'm going to make little sections like this with the rest of my dowels. And I may even decide to put one more coat of the spray paint on. Okay, my dowel sections are all glued together. And after I glued them into sections like this, I took them out to my garage and then I gave them one last coat of the silver spray paint but there's still quite a bit of marking showing through from the dowels. And I've ended up with two, four, six, eight, nine sections. And then that way, when I go to glue them onto my canvas, I can stagger them any which way that I want, right? And that'll be later on in the video. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to mix up some of my uh, glitter into a little bottle here, or into a little bowl. This is the Paradise. And the silver, any kind of silver will be fine. And this is the Teal Createology. And I also took this out of my stash. This is silver. It's a specialty glitter. It's kind of like um, shredded gold, or well, shredded silver leaf, if you will. I'm going to add some of that in there. Okay, so I have that ready. I have my crushed filler glass, Ashland brand. And I'm going to be using my Tri-Art liquid glass. You don't need to use Tri-Art for this project. You could use, um, you know, an Elmer's glue. 
And I want to stay away, this is my Triart liquid gloss, just in this little squeeze bottle. I'm not going to need a lot, and I don't want it to move off of these dowels. And now I'm going to concentrate on my wider dowels, the biggest ones. And just got a little, little craft paintbrush here. Okay, I'm gonna add some crushed glass. Just going to cover this dowel here because I want to put a plain glitter on there. Okay, and I'm just going to take my mixture. really want to load this glitter up. Okay, and then this dowel here actually looks pretty good. going to go in with just the chunky teal in here. Maybe a little bit of the paradise too. So that's good for that section. I have just a little piece of a tablecloth. I have it turned over, it's the plastic side of it, and then I'll be able to just uh, gather up this excess glitter into a bowl. I'm going to add some on this guy right here. There's a mark on that one that I don't like. I'm just going to add the specialty silver on this one. I'm 
Not a lot this time. Let some of the paint poke through. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and then I will bring you back. Okay, the liquid glass on my dowel sections is all dry now. And I'm just going to brush off the excess. Isn't that pretty? So the next step in this little operation is to glue my dowels onto my canvas. But before I do that, I forgot to mention, um, and I only have a few dowels left. I ended up using three full packages and a few more out of a fourth one. But all I did, so I knew how many I needed, I just laid out all my dowels across my canvas and then I knew how many dowels I needed and then I could just do my sections, glue my sections together, if that makes sense. So now I know that all of these sections are going to uh, fit perfectly across my canvas. And another reason why I did my dowels in sections is because now I have um, the option of moving them around and making a different design for myself. But if I were to just glue them onto my canvas, then I can't fiddle around with them and move them around. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. I'm kind of, I know I want to start up top like that. And then I'm just going to start placing them kind of where I think that I want them. See, and now I can just move these sections if I want them a little lower or higher in spots. Okay, something like that. Okay, now I'm going to glue my sections on and I'm just going to use my E6000 and a little bit of hot glue. And the thing that I really want to concentrate on is to make sure that I keep my dowels as straight as I possibly can. I'm just going to, I don't need a lot. These um, sections aren't very heavy. Just, just a couple of dabs of hot glue. I'm just using the edge of my canvas as my straight line guide. I'm going to move this one off my canvas so that I can move these over a little bit. Give myself a little bit more room. E6000 always blows up. And then I'm going to place my dowel back down where my finger is. Just have a little look, make sure it's straight, and just press it down. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. This turned out so, so pretty. Another way to add crushed glass and glitter onto a canvas with the dowels. I'm very, very pleased with this. It's so pretty. There's one thing that I would do differently though. Um, 
I don't mind the markings on the dowels that I don't have crushed glass and glitter on. Kind of adds a little bit of texture, but I, you know, you could either sand them down or use a silver leaf. And then that would camouflage the markings. Oh, this is so pretty. And doing the dowels in the sections, you can move them around and make whatever design that you want. I love this color. I absolutely love this color. I'll, I'll bring in closer to that specialty glitter. Oh, very pleased with the way this turned out. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. It feeds the algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.